In this video, we're going to create an alignment of some known geometry points that we've had surveyed. And to begin that, I'm going to import those geometry points by using the import geometry command. I'm going to select a ALG file that I have with Kogo points already in it and select open. And from the list of points, I'm going to browse down and choose the five points that I know are the surveyed centerline points. And import those. Those will appear here on the screen. Next thing I'm going to do is just create some linear elements between those by choosing the place line command and snap it to the points. Now I'm going to create curves between uh, the top two elements by using the arc between elements command. And I know that I want a radius of 395 uh, and zero offset. So if I follow my prompts down at the bottom, I'm going to locate the first element. Start offset is zero. Locate the second element. End offset is also zero. Then I'm going to choose the location. Then my trim extend option is set to both, which is correct. It's going to extend those elements out and create my curve. Next, I'm going to run the arc from element command. And I'm going to enter in a radius of 700. I'm going to choose my element, zero offset. And our start point choose my pass through point I'm just going to float it out here to begin with trim extend is it to none and that's good and finally I'm going to define a 350 foot curve to fill in my gap here and to do that again we're going to do arc between elements Our radius is going to be 350. Choose the first element, accept the offset. Choose the second element, accept the offset. Identify the location and accept the trim option for both. Now we can see that our alignment is created there. And finally, I'm going to choose to complex the element. This time I'm going to use a manual method. I'm going to select my first element, make sure that the arrow is pointing in the correct direction for each element. Select my tangents, curve, and then my final tangent. And it's created my alignment. If I go and look inside of inroads, it's created my center line. And if I do a review, I can see. Um, my tangents, my 350 and then my 750 radius curves, my linear tangents and everything is coincident and tangential. 